Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and this is part 10 of Fred's Head. Uh, in this video we're going to remove the Raspberry Pi 3 out of his head and install the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm also going to change it so that we have standoffs. Uh, this is actually a move in preparation to install uh, a AI expansion card from Seed Studios. All right, so I'll pull this out first and we'll get started. Now, those who follow this uh, program will know that I've previously used this stamp, this carrier, and it had pins and then I hot glued it in. What I found is I kept on breaking those uh, little standoff holder. I broke a couple of those little standoffs and I couldn't keep it in there. So we're going to improve on that. What I've done is for two of them I drilled holes and one of these doesn't want to come undone. It's actually broken the riser off. Which is a bit of annoying. it's very annoying. I'm going to do these one at a time. I'm going to snip that off and then I'll drill the hole. And I'll do this with the Raspberry Pi 3 in there. Because it doesn't cost as much as the Raspberry Pi 4 does. The holes in the PCBs are designed for a two and a half millimeter thread. So I'm going to drill the holes to two millimeters. So I might be better off just pulling it out since that didn't take too well. Pull this out two and a half. Put nuts on the back. I can take that off. Now the reasons for these extra long standoffs are I'm using it for another add-on card to go on later.
Okay, this was jamming up as I was trying to weld. So I've just pulled the filament out to see if there was a blockage or something in, on it. I was getting some filament come out, but it was like it was stepping. Something was jamming it up. The filament itself feels all right. It has got a little bit of moisture in it, but that's not uncommon for anything that's been sitting out for a little while, particularly considering it's raining today. And most films are hydroscopic, that is, they will absorb moisture from the air. There's a little bit of discoloration. I can't see anything that would be blocking it, though. I might have just been running it too slow. Seems to be working all right now. Starting to feel good and solid in there now. So that's mounted in there good and solid now. Next trick is to mount it back on the head. Okay, so a couple of the questions I've been seeing on the forums of recent uh, relating to running my robot lab on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, a number of people have been installing the Raspberry Pi image onto the Raspberry Pi and then when they try to install the My Robot Lab, it's coming up with a number of errors. Now, the most common cause for this is the latest Raspberry Pi image uh, that you can get from Raspberry, uh, the raspberrypi.org site has Java version 11 installed on it. My Robot Lab, Manticore version, does not work with version 11. So in order to make it work, you need to downgrade it. Uh, in uh, part four of the ser this series, I actually show how to install the Java 8 or 1.8 SDK. And then in part nine, I show how to set up the audio so it'll work. So if you're having trouble setting up my robot lab on your Raspberry Pi, I would suggest you go and have a look at those two parts. Now, this is my power supply cable, so I don't have to worry about using the uh, USB type C. I think I might move the camera up a little bit. better so this is two single way headers but we need to use uh, a twin head 20 way header so when you're using them as singles like this the power is going to be on the outside like so and this one is the i2c bus One of the things I haven't done yet is install the i2s library on this and that is on my to-do list. Now I'm just firing up the power supply. Okay, so I've got power running see red lights and we can see the red light on the Raspberry Pi. 
and the green flashing light. I have got that in camera if you have my head. So our red light down here is the power going to the PCA 9685 uh, servo driver. Uh, the red light here indicates we've got power there and the green flashing light was activity on the micro SD card. Now I've already installed my robot lab on this one. In fact I've got two versions of my robot lab installed on this one. I've got both Manticore and Nixie. Uh, the version of Nixie installed on there at the moment is probably a month old so I'll download a new version and I'll install that on it shortly. It's got a new interface and a new way of setting things up. Uh, it is a little more interesting to set up so I'll come back and do that as a separate video. What I should do is actually fire it up and make sure everything is working. Now for those of you who are not aware of it, I am running uh, VNC and I'm just setting up a VNC connection now. Okay, so we've got our VNC running that's connected to the Raspberry Pi 4. We'll launch a terminal window. CD into My Robot Lab. You can see My Robot Lab is already installed. So to launch it, it's Java minus Java My Robot. Lab dot jar. You can actually uh, write a longer line that will actually launch, launch specific scripts. Uh, that's what the inmove.bat or inmove.sh files do. They also run a few other cleanup parts as well. And this is just a very short script I wrote to test out the Raspberry Pi functions. Um, I have found that there's some errors in Manticore with the Raspberry Pi features. Um, hopefully it'll be something that will be cleared up in the near future. Uh, this is also got in there a number of scripts I've been working on to get the eye blink etc working which uh, it's not 100% operational yet. Uh, you basically need to run all of this. I think this is the first one. It should, in theory, execute all of the other folders. And you can see there that it's launching a lot of stuff. Now this isn't going to work very well because I haven't got a microphone plugged into it at the moment. Alright, so the eyes are moving. Uh, which is always a good start. So I'm going to call it quits at this. Uh, I'll no doubt hook up speakers and get Fred to produce another video in the not too distant future. I've got a couple for him to do. Uh, when they come out, uh, if you've subscribed and clicked on the notification bell, uh, YouTube will let you know and you'll be able to see those. Don't forget to click on like and we'll see you in the next video.